housemate to be evicted from the Big Brother Niger lockdown house is Kaisha. So let's break the eviction show. The rest of the video for the rest of the week is going to be after this. So sit back, relax, grab your tea and enjoy. If you can't come into the house, we're wearing an amazing, lovely summer outfit by Maya Tafu. He first of all called Lucy and asked her about the fights in the house regarding the one with Nengi and the one with Othoni. Lucy said the one with Nengi was just her defending her friend, Prince, obviously trying to protect him. And the one with Othoni was a joke. They've got past it. He called on to Erica, told her congratulations on being the head of house, called her congratulations on winning the lots of prizes this week and then he asked her about the fight as well with Lucy and then Erica was like said something about the head and the neck and it didn't just sounded like if she was sobbing her she, funny enough the answer was too long he didn't go into the one with Watoni which I was wishing he would go into Erica also mentioned that Lucy gossips a lot so she was just very annoyed when she heard her things regarding Kidwaya and her who is the head who is the neck then he called on Kaisha and asked her about the fight with Nengi Kaisha explained the fact that she was boiling explained in the other part of the video she said exactly the same thing Nengi said well she came and saw someone just touching the adapter by her kettle asked her what she was doing and then she kind of hissed or something and um kaisha said she apologized for the hissing and yeah they said everything was fine erica also said her and lucy were really really cool that lucy actually made her hair before the eviction and it was really nice lovely long golden braids and then Erika went into the business of the they called the bottom four people in no particular order. The first person was Trikiti, which is not surprising. The second person was Kaisha, which is not surprising. The third person was Watoni, which I'm so thankful for. And the fourth person was Neo, which actually surprised me. So now he has given them a bit of a break. He's going to go for commercials and come back to get who has been um, evicted, really, because the housemates are going into the diary session right now. Just be watching it. Let's be fast. Kaisha, Kaisha guys. <laughs> Kaisha has just been evicted from the Big Brother Niger house. Guys, Neo was actually the lowest. We need to do better. Basically, for people who have not been able to catch up daily and then just want to know the important stuff that's happening in the house, start from Tuesday, obviously, which was day twenty-three. So on day 23, the housemates woke up in the room, Watoni, Bright, Lacon, and Trikiti. They were in the room just gisting about accents. You know, they always like playing with the English accent. So Trikiti was saying his own. At some point, Lacon said ah, that this house was filled up with accents at the beginning. And Bright said yes, that then everybody was just showing themselves. Popping pills pop up. What you talking about? What you talking Katrina about? Katrina had you ah. fucked up. And towards the evening time, Nengi and Ozo had a conversation just talking about how there's so much pressure to be in relationships. Nengi tried to make it clear that no matter the pressure, she's not going to fall. That she knows she doesn't want to be in one here maybe when she goes out and sees what's really happening she'll find out and then also yeah i kind of agree they had that yeah there's a lot of people pressuring themselves but obviously he may like who he likes which is nengi we'll still be good like we'll still be fine no fighting with you but just keep your distance is it not what they, so that was it for tuesday really then on Wednesday, the highlights of the conversations were between Prince and Lucy. Um, Lucy was feeling down as usual. You know, she really, really likes to clean up, but she doesn't feel the housemates pull their weight. She's very caring. She loves to get people food. She even said sometimes when she cooks, she forgets to bring her own food. And then when other people cook and then she hasn't cooked that day, nobody even remembers that ah, Lucy hasn't eaten. She just kept saying different things like that. That's my, my That's the first. thing, because we are all differently gifted. We I mean, you should let it be personal or let it get to you. He gave an example of his clothing, like his wardrobe, everything is folded to the T, like he doesn't leave, leave things hanging. He said, but if you look at someone like Neo, Neo's wardrobe, everything is folded and ironed. You know, but there are some other people that you see everything is so scattered, but that doesn't mean, like the person's one can be beside you, but that doesn't mean you start taking it personal, like the person is not cleaning about for themselves. You know, just do you and bear with things and just move on. And then he just kept telling her that she's an amazing person, he has watched her, he knows she's amazing, just that obviously sometimes she can be loud. And yeah, sure. Thank you. But actually, she should just be letting differences slide. And then she had earlier fought with Nengi, you know, so maybe that was part of the things that were really paining her. And then um, at some point, she had, maybe because of the talk or whatever, she just went to meet Nengi to explain to Nengi that, um, yeah, I'm sorry for our busting like that. Um, I just come to talk to you as a friend, but Nengi was like, well, we're not friends. So she, she, she just pushed it aside and just kept on apologizing. And she just sorry for saying all the things she said. And Nengi was like, I've heard, I've heard, I've heard, we had glasses. <laughs> I don't think Nengi was really in the mood for that apology, but at least she did. And then everybody moved on from that. Yes. Who did not even I don't even walk. think we were friends, Wait, yeah, though. Later in the night, um, another interesting conversation was prenups. So the housemates were just talking about people signing prenups. The same kind of set of people, Tricky T, 
um, bright lucy was there as well and they're just saying how prince was also there just saying how you know prenups how important they are as well like no okay lucy now came and said there's different types of prenups uh, yes there has to be a condition it's just obvious you I I cannot be a prenup that is balanced exactly yes. and then lacon now said well prenups is something that protects both people prenups should not be something that is just tailored to one person's money or one person's investment it's something that should protect both of you from your own things because according to educate say human beings are flawed so you might not even plan to do something Thing. You may plan, plan to put your, all your energy in your marriage and stuff and in the end something happens that you just can't help. So yes, prenups are very important but they have to be very factual and realistic. That was it for Wednesday day 24. Let's go into Thursday day 25. The Thursday started with Watoni telling us about her spec and her spec and her spec and her spec again. She remem reminded us that um, when she came into the house on the first night, she slept on the same bed with Eric. But uh, if she wanted to fo follow it up, she would have just left it. And kid, uh, they really yam very well, they juice very well, they banter very well. So if that was something she wanted to pursue, she would have done so. She said out of all these people, her real spec in this house is not even praised. That they should guess who her real spec is. And then I think what Toladin then I said Neo and she said, yes, that's her real spec. But obviously, um, someone is really going that. She's the kind of person that when someone that she knows is really going for someone, she just removes her hand from it. And I said after all, there's so many men in the world. And I said, bright, are, are you not there? Bright, say please buy not me. I'm not there. I'm not there. The conversation with Kid and um, Kaisha, and I can't remember who the third person was that was that was there. So Kid was just telling Kaisha that he likes her vibe and everything. That she, he likes the way she she expresses herself, especially when she drinks. Is that so? It's true now. No, it's not a bad thing. I'm telling. And then um, Neo and V at that Thursday, they were still really fine, chilling. They were now just staying, just asking questions. So Jenna, she's like, "You can ask me anything. I'll tell you anything." And then he said, "What's the?" Freakiest thing you've ever done, or what's the craziest place you've ever had sex or something like that? So, I say that, hmm. I'll tell you later tonight. Yeah, guys, so that was it for day 25 and Thursday. So, let's go into Friday. The Thursday, one of the first conversations I saw was Prince and Tolani Batch talking about different things. So, Prince was just basically saying you would like to get married at 30. And um, Tolani was like, okay, are there things you want to achieve that you know you think you haven't yet? And they were just talking some kind of nice, cool talk chat. Who are you married, Patricia? I'm sorry, I turned 30, so I have a short time to get my act together. And he just really hopes he'll be ready, but at 30, he really wants to be a husband. And then for some reason, there was just a future talk kind of thing in the air. Erica and um, Kidwaya, Erica was just telling Kidwaya that she thinks she's going to have to put her acting career to, um, to the back bench at some point, especially when she gets serious with somebody or gets married, because there's some scenes, you know, in acting that your partner might not be able to tolerate. And Kidwaya was like, him is not that kind of person. I just feel like Nigerian men don't really understand. So again, I'm different. Did their wager task and lost, as with Erica being head of house. According to Big Brother, they didn't put enough time. But according to Erica, she thought they, they did their best and stuff. But Big Brother expected him to do way more than that drama. I don't think he just wanted to no, know his no. He probably wanted so many other ways that um, there's um, sexual imbalance and inequality and stuff like that. Talani now asked Erica like how she felt later in the evening and Erica was like she didn't feel bad at all about the loss and then they got into talking about Kid and um, Watoni. Talani now asked her again that okay why did she think Watoni liked Kid and then she mentioned that during the truth of day in the initial stages one time they asked Watoni to kiss someone she picked Kid and that time they asked her to show someone her underwear she's like you know yourself and then she dragged kid meanwhile during that same game when they told kid to kiss someone kid actually chose erica so Tolani and Shah just know that Tolani knows all this on what you know she just likes to be clean and let's not be like she's gossiping up and down let's be like you said something with your own mouth i'm so proud of you i think you did really well i didn't know how you were going to handle this week and then she feels what Tony is kind of like looking for a man and she's kind of like alone because you know, she started all this one at first with the kid and later moved to Prince. When Prince moved to Tolani, she now moved to Eric because um, Lilo had gone, only for Eric to be addicted. So she doesn't even understand. I think someone else said she liked Bright. And then Erica said laughing that well, maybe that's our next target. Then um, Ozo and Nengi were just in and Nengi was like, don't worry, I'll find you a nice Bayelsa girl who will cook for you. Should we cook and overfeed you and kill you? Also, we're just not doing I need a good Bayosa or Potako girl. And just keep us. And later in the day, they were in the kitchen. I just saw V making a sandwich and then Nengi came in. And V was just like, Nengi, you know I like you, right? Yeah, actually, I actually like you. And then Nengi was like, yeah, me too. I like you a lot. And then she was just like, you know, Nengi has such good composure. Like, she's just standing there, just like, doing she's just talking about one thing or the other. I guess V kind of sees Nengi as a good competition in the house, but she's not competing with her. They don't even talk that much, but she probably just admires her gameplay from afar. Have you ever 
really like you, Lindsay. I hope you know that. I like you too. A lot. And then I was surprised the housemates, after they finished playing their games for the day, he told them to stay outside in the garden and later told them to come inside. And guess what they saw, guys? Oh, she looks so the portraits of all the evicted housemates normally this is something that is done in big brother house when people are evicted they bring like framed pictures and stuff those pictures of tochi um eric lilo and katrina all looking very beautiful mm -hmm. all the housemates were very nostalgic they're just looking they were just looking laughing and the pictures it was nice yeah so at some point they started all just in the lounge or whatever and then people were just talking about guys and stuff only for um i don't know who even brought up the fact that kid wire doesn't really chase girls or something like that it doesn't really you know, girls chase him or something like that. i think every guy even says something like that this was they're really used to girls chasing him something like that so when he now said that what he now said um what i can say is that kidwaya has not chased any girl in this house like you don't say that when the person is actually seeing someone in the house that's you causing trouble and you know the what likes for me I don't really want any man, I don't care about any man, but she's still the one that talks about man in the house so much. Breaking this table, breaking that table, always putting her head in people's relation. Like, why would you make that kind of comment? So, Erica now asks her, why would you say that? Why did she say that? Because I'm with you right now. Okay, what's your point? We can get to your point right now. Now, you trying to now say he's the, I'm the one that chased him, you know? So, but then he was still just saying her own. So, at the point, I don't even know how we think became so big. When Obatone said that, I don't know whether that kid did not respond or something. So I was just annoyed. I look at what the rubbish this girl said. Uh, only for you not to even say anything. Like you should have had my back out there. You should have had my back. That should have shaded me. And this is a girl who came to meet me earlier today to say, we are now cool. We are full. We are, we are hope we are cool. Hope we are fine. And then look at what you're saying again. You know, Erika felt really bad. So the um, kid went upstairs. She was just making the bed in one very angry way. And then laid down and covered her head and was just like, for you know, I think it was obviously told him to just leave and then he was about to leave and then she said, say, make it those crying sounds, you know, how you're fighting with someone and you know that uh, confess will soon leave you. <laughs> you know, start crying. So that's what Eric had. She said, crying, she kid now came back, said, talking that this one, he doesn't, that he doesn't even see those kind of things. Eric was like, no, that girls, they are girls. He was just trying to console her, really trying to make her feel stronger. So when they finished that one, they shall did then what on She went to use the bathroom. Eric now came to wait for her at the bathroom door so as she came out she was like i want to have a word with you that i thought we just sorted i thought you just called me and said we should be cool so why would you make that kind of statement you made like where is my problem what problem do you have with me but then i was like i don't have a problem i have something about a uh, kid wire kid wire she was like i'm asking you what if you have a problem with me why are you bringing out me but then i said i don't care about kid wire or anybody i don't give a shit okay 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 the Sorry. The voices started rising at this point, and then um, Erica was just like shouting and shouting. And she went into, into the lounge. It was when Erica now got to the lounge, she now said something like, Yeah, you're 29 and you have a son. Why are you not always having a problem with me? So, every other person they had not heard when Matoni said that first statement about being 29 and having a son and not having time for men, they just heard Erica. So, some people's faces were now scared. Why would you bring up her son in this fight? You know what well, i don't know if they eventually understood it but it was just irritating because i've heard obviously it was what that brought that in the first place so they just again and again and again and again and erica now shouts her down kidwaya came all the way even talking and then she just pushed kidwaya that it's not you now like let me just sort it out with this girl because i don't understand my problem with her so they got to the lounge everybody was literally in the lounge at the point then kidwaya just came and said who is drinking let's go and drink because i don't think they got just i don't even why they wanted to all drink in the garden but kidwaya just dragged everybody to the garden that's how everybody followed kidwaya and erica to the garden what only took him well obviously her body was biting her because she knew it was just you know her fault to be honest that fight was her fault and then she she got up and went to the room just bubbling mumbling 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 little hand this went to that swinging chair and then we're just talking so this see obviously anytime there's another person fighting in the house Lucy is always very okay because at least it's not her so they just okay she's now saying that this fight is really irritating when she fought with Tolani that's what Tony when she fought with Tolani she actually felt bad but we saw she's not feeling bad some sort of this situation just exchanging their stories of fights and age and when you come here you don't bring your age because this is 30 yeah this is 30 that Chikiti is even 35 so like you see Chikiti doesn't even bring age you know they should just trying to console themselves meanwhile kid wire the girls everybody in the house was just having fun at the garden you know, just like this kid wire like the way he just knows how to turn situations you know when someone doesn't even let unnecessary things bother them like people should go and learn how to be a kid wire situation turner in university so obviously that was the end of day five like friday we were still awake at 2 a.m all this in fact some of these things actually happened into saturday but we just called it friday because we all now slept off so guys saturday 
So on Saturday, they had the travel better task. I think they divided themselves into either four or five or six teams. I can't remember, but I know there was four, four, four. So like three teams or four teams. And at the end, um, the team that won, the team that went to Cross River, which was V, Watoni, Bright, and Lakon, it was a nice ad. And the second team that won were Prince, Erika, and uh, Salani Baj. So those were the two teams that won. They won two million, so they're all going to share 250. K each. So the one one million each of the century shares with you. So that's exciting times because a lot of people's sports are increasing, people's bank balances are increasing even without you know winning the show yet. And that's really impressive. And yeah, the both ads I listened to both of them, they were really fun. All those ads was very like into the house. They talked about a lot of things that they talk about in the house. While the other one was about someone who came and wanted to go to the Cross River and yeah, it was really, really nice. There was a little conversation with Erica and Tolani and Erica was like already that there's even no need me fighting for a kid or whatever because I already have him to be honest that if I'm tired of him I'll let him go if you want to go and take him if she wants to go and take him as a home you know extra she can go <laughs> I'll go for you he does not have great things and I don't want anybody who use this less like Kid Wire and Lucy now had this little um squabble I would say it wasn't really a fight I think they were trying to explain something about food and stuff and then Lucy was shouting Kid was like why are you shouting? <laughs> <laughs> it was just a little scrubbusher. Then they brought their outfits for the uh, party. The guys were dressed by someone called Zadi or something, and then the girls were dressed by I can't even remember, Angelica, Angelica, something. But the outfits were really nice. I think Dora's outfit really, really stood out. It was the best, thankfully. Normally, they'll bring outfit two sizes, but this one was so pretty. It was a dress, really well covered, beautiful dress. Left, left, left. Down for Dora looked the best at the party. The DJ was amazing. Groundbreaking DJ or something. DJ Groundbreaker. Amazing DJ back to back to back. His Omo um, Neil was dancing his whole head out. Lacon was dancing with everybody as usual. He come to Erica, leave there, you know. It was just a nice all round beautiful party. Everyone danced to the end. Some currency that had their faces. So I just saw Kid Wire spraying Erica the currency while they were dancing and yeah, they, I guess they just wanted to add some twist to the party this time. Then Nengi and Ki and Kaisha fought. They were, it was because of a kettle boiling or something. According to the story I heard from Prince and Kaisha's versions. Nengi was actually at fault. I think she put water to boil and Kasha came and the water wasn't boiling and she was trying to find what was wrong and Nengi now came and called her stupid, maybe thinking she was stealing the water. Something. In the end, in the end, in the end, the chat really insulted each other a lot and um, also at some point now came to meet Nengi, just calming her down. Like, it's fine. You've raised all the pent up and also is such a peaceful human being so then she be there later she now came to me also that guess what i've cleared all my problems i spoke to uh kaisha yeah i told you i love you i told you i love you i told you i love you i swear it was just very i don't know like this is my bad friend I'm, i've been trying to like she even said she doesn't like peace you know i think he felt so good that he was able to impact her that much and then he said, yeah, I love you. And then she's like, no, 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 no. They start just feeling each other somehow. Shabu. It was just a beautiful conversation. Yo, I didn't even understand what was happening with New Year and V as at that Saturday. Um, I think B made food at some point and didn't give New or didn't make anything for New Year. He was really hungry. And every time New Year makes food, he always has V's mouth in the food. So he called herself bitch, bitch, guys. And they are just not in good terms as at right now. Right now is Sunday. I'm waiting for the eviction shows. Normally he washes her hair, he didn't do it. It won't be nice, so I don't want to talk to you. Well, I think because of the words he had called her earlier. So yeah, they're fighting right now. I, I don't know if they'll make up before eviction, but I'll let you guys know. Then Erica and um, Chicky were just chilling, and Erica was like, Let's follow some songs. So Chicky said, Okay, spoil Beyonce's brown skin girl. <laughs> just look at what Erica did. <laughs> mm, so later at night, Kid Wire and Erica, they shall go down. They didn't have sex or anything, but it was obvious they were doing things, probably if they lash you and stuff. And then they shall really made out heavily <laughs> last night. <laughs> So um, I think they're really peaceful, really peaceful, genuine couple that have not fought crazy. And then I don't know, we don't really have a lot of conversations from them at all. And Prince, they are my favorite couples, to be honest. I feel like both of them as individuals, and I like both of them in the relationship they are doing. Like they're not carrying it on their head too much. They have obviously conversations at night. They sleep on each other's beds. Sorry, Tolani sleeps on Prince's bed most nights. And yeah, I just I don't know. This is how they woke up anyway. I 
right guys that's it for this upload do share this with your friends who don't catch up daily and want to just know what's really happening in the house if this is your first time here welcome to my channel click the subscribe button and click the bell right beside it if this is not your first time thank you so much for coming back see you on the next episode guys bye bye